They call it the HP Dragonfly G4, a fantastic thin and light laptop. It opens up to 180 degrees. So no matter where you're sitting, you can have a nice view of your screen. Now the build quality and the thin and lightness of this laptop is something that really has stood out to me from the beginning of reviewing and unboxing this laptop. It is so thin and light. And the model that I have comes with the i7-1365U, which has really great performance. Now, the one thing that also stood out to me was the trackpad. This trackpad feels so great to use. It is a mellow, very dampened click that when you click it, you just, it, there's like a confidence that you experience when you're clicking it. A lot of times trackpads feel kind of shaky or not really attached well to the chassis, they're rattly. This is just, it's so secure and it really invokes a sense of quality when using this device. Now, for a while, I've been a little hard on HP's like thin and light laptops, but this one definitely stands out to me and it's a better price than I've seen in the past. Right now, I saw this on sale for HP's website for about $1,500. In the past, this laptop would have been $2,000, $2,500, even $3,000. So they're starting to get a little bit more competitive with their pricing in regards to their thin and light laptops. Something like the Asus ZenBook OLED is priced at around the $1,000 price point and comes with some great options. So it's nice to see HP coming out with some more affordable options that are still great quality and give us great performance. Anyone can find anything on the internet, including your full legal name, your personal email, your home address, phone number, and even your relatives. That's why I'm excited to tell you about today's sponsor, Aura. We've been using Aura to monitor our personal information online for over a year now and have been able to reclaim control of our personal data. This information is accessible because of data brokers who profit by selling your information to robocallers, telemarketers, spammers, and anyone else that wants to learn more about you. You can use my link by going to aura.com slash Benji Kaiser to try a two week free trial to see how many data brokers are sharing your information. Aura's app also features a VPN, password manager, real-time credit and identity theft monitor, internet parental controls, and protects your devices from malware. Aura has almost every internet safety tool you'll ever need all inside one app. Let Aura do the hard work of keeping you safe online. If you sign up right now, Aura will give you a two week free trial with my link in the video description. Now there is a webcam on the top bezel of the screen and here's a quick sample so you can see what that looks and sounds like. This is the webcam on the HP Elite Dragonfly G4 and a little sample of the audio for you as well. In regards to the audio experience, here's a sample of the speakers in use. Now I mentioned the trackpad and I absolutely love that. The keyboard is great as well. We have full size shift keys on both sides. They didn't go ahead and bump up the arrow keys to give me that annoying three fourths or half size shift key. So that is great. And I like the keys. They feel a little bit dipped in the center and they have about a medium to short key press. Not quite medium, but not quite that super thin ultrabook keyboard, which I personally don't like. So I'm really liking the keyboard here. Here's an audio sample. I'm using both the keyboard and the amazing trackpad so you can hear what it sounds like. And just one more time, I just, the trackpad, I mean, look at the size of it. This is a 13 inch laptop and it just, it's big. It's so good for this, for this laptop. All right, now going ahead and checking out the ports. You're gonna charge this laptop via USB type C. So we have a USB type C port on the left side, HDMI, which is crazy for how thin this laptop is that it has an HDMI port. We also have a micro SD card reader. So you can go ahead, slide a micro SD card in there and actually expand your storage and uh, take this laptop up to, you know, one or two terabytes easily, no matter how much internal storage you have. Now going over to the other side, we have a USB type A behind this little door here. And then we have a headphone jack, USB type C, as well as a Kensington lock. So you can go ahead and lock this to your desk. Make sure you avoid any theft at a coffee shop or around, you know, some co-working spaces, wherever you might be working. Now the brightness and color gamut range in this laptop are actually pretty good, being that this is not an OLED display, the model I have before me. We have 431 nits of brightness at a 98% sRGB, 77% Adobe RGB, and 77% DCI-P3. So really solid color gamut range and brightness 
for a non OLED or mini LED display. Now I mentioned the price earlier, but if you're curious about the exact price and availability at the moment you're watching this video, head down in the description below and click those links. If you do make a purchase, I'll get a small commission, but at no extra cost to you. But of course that's what keeps this channel alive and the helpful content coming your way. In regards to the battery life, from a 68 watt hour battery, this thing gets great battery life at nine hours and 28 minutes for productivity, nine hours and 43 minutes for streaming video playback, almost six hours for Photoshop and just over four hours for video editing. This was all done at 20% screen brightness and a Windows battery saver mode turned on. In regards to performance, this i7-1365U is a beast. For the Geekbench multi-core score, it still did very well at about 8,348. Now looking at Cinebench R23, once again near the top of the charts at 1,810, and then at multi-core, still scoring a solid score at 8,943. Now moving on to Photoshop, I was actually kind of surprised to see the performance not show as high in Photoshop at a 621. I was hoping for a score in the 700s, but again, that 621 is good. You'll have good performance in Photoshop, but it's just not absolutely stellar. I would say this would be a great laptop for Photoshop if you're doing some basic photo editing, if you're doing some basic painting or drawing using InDesign or Illustrator, uh, but nothing complex like you know creating hundreds of layers for a very complex illustration in Photoshop. This laptop would struggle a little bit with something that intense. Um, you're going to want to get a laptop with a score of mid to high 700s uh, into the 800s if you're doing a lot of heavy lifting in Photoshop. Now looking at video editing, this laptop did perform very well. For 1080p, we saw an export time of 1 minute and 38 seconds. That's very good for 1080p. For 4K, the export time was 4 minutes and 55 seconds. That's great. It's up in the normal kind of spot for laptops that perform great with 13 generation Intel processors. And the playback was something that was even more impressive. It could do full quality 4K playback in Premiere Pro with only 49 drop frames out of 16,177. A Ryzen counterpart to this Intel laptop dropped 3,000 frames instead of the 49 we saw from the Dragonfly. So definitely great performance for video editing in Premiere Pro. This so laptop comes with a nice large trackpad, fantastic keyboard, love the 16 by 10 aspect ratio screen, thin and light. Love the materials they use. They feel really nice to the touch. And the assembly on this laptop is great. The bottom cover fits very nicely into the side panel. So punch for punch, I'm liking the build quality and usability of this laptop. Don't forget links in the description if you're ready to make a purchase or click or tap the screen here for more videos to help you with your buying decision. I'll see you in the next one.